Hi everyone, I'm Nadine Davis and I'm your instructor for English 107 Grammar. Um, grammar is a, is a difficult thing to handle and the way I'm going to handle it is to use grammar in context. That means you'll be looking at sentences and working with them to learn new grammatical constructions. First of all, um, you can call me Professor Nadine or Professor Davis. And the one thing I want you to do is to sign up for Remind.com to contact me. There are um, directions in the class site and supplemental information where you can find the directions for Remind.com. I'm really not like the witch and whatever, but um, required book. It should say book, the writer's option. Um, and as I said in the opening there, um, I know you hate grammar books, but give it a try. Um, when you look at the books, you're probably going to just rush right to the exercise and not read the chapter. Please don't do that. The chapter explains the grammar, grammar construction that you're trying to work on. Now, what can you expect in the course from me? Well, I'll be respectful. I'll be prompt. And by prompt, I mean I check the discussion boards daily. I check email daily. And I check remind.com daily. Best way to get a hold of me is through remind.com because I have my phone with me. And it will tell me if you have uh, texted me. And I get back to you right away. I do know a lot about grammar. In fact, I love grammar. I think of it as a little puzzle, and it's very enjoyable for me. And I guess that's logical for somebody who's been a professor of English for over 30 years. And I know for you, this is not, grammar doesn't look like a puzzle. It just looks like a maze, something you just can't get through. And I'm hoping that I can bring it to you in the form of a puzzle. Um... What do I expect? Well, I expect you to be respectful. I expect you to be prompt. And by prompt, I mean there is no late work. Did you hear me? No late work. You're going to be working on the discussion board with your classmates. And if you post late, then they're not going to have anything to discuss. And if you post late, you're not going to get anybody to respond to you. You're not going to be part of the conversation. And you're not going to be able to... Um, get the job done, get your works done. And it's also your uh, best effort that's important. I don't grade on effort, but I grade on if you've acquired the objectives of the course. The other thing I want you to know is I can't see your face. I can't see if you're out there going, oh, I don't understand this. I can't hear you. I can't see you. So, you know, in a classroom, I can see people's faces, and if they have their heads tilted and, and, and this kind of pained look on their face, I know they don't understand what's going on. I don't see that from you. So I need you to be the one to actively ask questions. Who are the main characters in this um, class that we're in? You. You are the most important person in this class. And um, you really need to participate in those discussion boards to uh, obtain the objectives. If you don't, you won't learn the constructions, and then you won't do well on the quizzes. There are some drop boxes, not very many, but where you'll write and show me that you know the um, construction. And you're going to contact me for uh, confusing ideas or assignments. And you're going to be have you're going to have to think critically about each word in the sentence to be able to understand what construction is going to be taught. So now we're going to go to the syllabus and uh, go through some information. And I do not believe, yes, I do, there we go. This will have, instead of this crazy little note survey link, which I probably should delete right now, um, this will have the video, okay? This will have the video that you're watching right now. Over here on the calendar, you are going to have um, 
most of the assignments listed, not all of them. What I want you to do is go to content. I don't know how many times I say to students, go to content, go to content, go to content, and they still try to use the calendar and then they're confused. Go to content. Do I have to say that again? Go to content. Okay. Now, um, in content, you're going, the first thing I want you to go to is the syllabus. And um, I want you to open the syllabus up. You can also download. I think the best thing to do is download and print it, quite honestly. Um, I welcome you. I talk about how to get a hold of me, which is basically uh, using Remind.com or my email address. And note I say I'll respond between 36 to 48 hours, okay? Um, usually, I respond more quickly. As I said, the writer's option is the book that you need. Um, it may be cheaper somewhere used, like on Amazon, but you have to have it. Um, the things I want to emphasize is I will drop you if you miss the first class meeting. And by class meetings, I mean discussion board, email, and assignments, mainly the discussion board. If you miss two weeks in the course, two weeks of assignments, you will be dropped from the course. And I'm looking mostly for the weekly discussions. Um, the other thing is I don't allow offensive language. It hasn't happened in many years. In fact, I think it was the first semester I taught, I got some taught online. That was 20-some years ago um, that uh, there was... Um, offensive language. I had to do something about it, so just don't do it. Um, make sure you're doing your own work. I know sometimes there are dual enrolled students in here and they get together and they write the same sentences. I don't mind you working together, but your work needs to be your own. Um, and this is another big thing. If you disagree with a grade on the assignment, contact me privately. Email me and don't let the concern fester. Um, again, my most important thing to happen in this course is for there to be respect. And for you to respect me, you, you could have to turn in all things on time. Late work will not be graded and cannot be made up. Um, I won't even comment on it, so you've got to get things in on time. Um, you need to respect my permission and me by showing academic integrity and honesty. You have to have the text for the course, and you have to follow all the links in the course. You need to watch the videos. They're incredibly important. Read what I have to say when you get a chance about extra credit. There just isn't any. Um, remember, I don't accept late work. You got to check the course for due dates. I might remind you of certain things, but I don't do it all the time. Um, everything you you write in the discussion board is going to be typed into the text box. Um, don't attach a file, and in the Dropbox you will attach a file. For the most part, we'll be using the discussion board, so type in the text box. I don't even look at it if you put up a file. Um, you can read the rest of this yourself. It's coming up. Um, it talks about grading and it talks about the English division policies having to do with um, attendance and that um, my policies are based on the um, division policies. So let's go back to syllabus and other information. And here's the remind.com information of how to sign up for the course um, or for the course um, texting. Um, I send reminders. Oh, I don't know why it's taken so long. Um, I send reminders through this. I send personal messages through this. You have to sign up for it or you will not be in the loop in terms of my messages and my instruction. Um, other important information to look at, um, the odds and ends document is sort of a, um, it's going to take a while to load too, 
I should have just downloaded it. Um, yeah, just download. And here it is. Um, again, how to contact me. One of the main things I want you to remember is that there is a raise your hand forum topic on the discussion board. And I want you to make it a habit to check that because I answer questions there. Pose a question and wait for my answer or for another classmate to answer it. Please read other people's questions before you post yours because I may have answered it already. Um, get into Remind.com. Um, Remind.com, you can message me privately about grades, about concerns, about misunderstandings. But if it has to do with the course assignment, please contact the instructor through Raise Your Hand. Um, you should check your email. Remember, I don't accept light works. And remember, not everything is on the calendar. Where are you supposed to go? Course content. Um, you're responsible to have a computer and internet at all times. Have a backup. If you don't have a backup, um, then your, your work will be late. And I don't accept it. Um, discussion board of it, etiquette. Remember, don't do anything but type in the text box. Um, make sure that you're here. I'm going to drop you. I do drop you. Um, always use Microsoft Word. Delta offers a free copy to students and be courteous on the discussion board. That's sort of uh, what I ex want in the uh, in a nutshell. Okay. Um, doo -doo -doo -doo. I guess that's it. Um, now for this week's assignment. Do by Wednesday, so you have to get right on this. I want you to review the following web pages. There's some quizzes on there. I don't need you. To, please don't mail me your results. If you don't do them, well, then you're not going to learn uh, what I want you to learn. Then by Wednesday, read lesson one. Read all of it. You may have to read it a couple times. Don't just skim it. Take a pencil out. Take a pen out. Take a marker out. Write notes in, in the margins. Don't just highlight. Why did you highlight a section? Put it in the margin. And then I want you to combine the sentences in playing first on page 12. And I want you to combine them two different times. Um, you're going to combine them one way, and then if you can, combine them another way. Um, and the goal is to avoid run-on sentences. Okay, so I want you to take a sentence, write it one way, take, a, take the sentences and write them a diff way, different way. Now, when you post them on the board, don't write them as a paragraph. Each sentence should be on a separate line, and you should double space in between each sentence. Um, by Friday, you're going to respond to classmates who have combined the sentences and um, those that have, are using uh, run-ons or comma splices and correct them for them. That's what you're supposed to do by Friday is check each other's work and only respond to the people that have run-on sentences and fix them. Okay? So I hope you understand what I expect from you this semester. And I hope you understand the assignments for this week. If you have questions about the assignment, they go on Raise Your Hand. And you can find that in the discussions. They'll go right there. You'll click Raise Your Hand and start a new thread if you have a question about the discussion or about the assignment. If you have problems, um, a particular personal problem question, Use Remind.com. There's nobody in the course yet, so let's respond and get ready. I'm happy to see all of you here. Um, I'm happy that you are uh, in the course, and let's get off on a good foot and get this first lesson out of the way.